back. So today I have like my weekend haul. I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. It's just doing one haul once a week and it's gonna be a grocery and Dollar Tree combined. Um, I know some people only like to see Dollar Tree, but right, like I really don't have that many things from Dollar Tree today, to be honest. Like, and I'll start with that, but then I'll do my grocery because I need to get it put up. So what I got from Dollar Tree, you guys, is just very few things, to be honest. I don't need anything. Um, I have too much stuff as it is, like that I really need to get put up. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that picture of my messy craft space. And um, it's just, I can't, I can't function like that. Like even when I sit down to make a, a project or something and I'm having a fight to find stuff, it really bothers me because it takes me a lot longer than it should. And um, I can't, I can't keep up like that. <laughs> So, like, anyway, so I didn't get that many things. I did get, um, and this is actually three of these things I got whenever I went to my, like, my hometown this week. Um, I went into Dollar Tree to try to find some of the really large Christmas balls for my, one of my husband's aunts. And so I got me a couple of things that they had that I hadn't seen at our Dollar Tree yet. And actually, um, at the end of this video, I will leave a little bit of footage so that um, you can see just how hectic our Dollar Trees are. Like, not even just our Dollar Tree. Like, our shopping places, period, on a Friday night are just too much. So, like, I will leave footage of that. You can't really find at them unless you, like, have the patience of a saint, which I do not. So, I'll show you the three things that I got for myself when I went out of town the other day. And um, I did find this washi here, this Zoom Zoom Zoom, whoever this is, Disney washi, and I did find the Disney Princess washi. These are all right, and they're actually better quality than normal Dollar Tree washies, because it's like the rice paper, if you can see. It's not the really hard one. But what I don't like about these, and you can't see it that much on the princess one, but you can see it on the Zoom Zoom better, is you don't really get that much of a washi that's not, like, messed up. You'll see, like, um, from here to here is clear, and then you'll see, like, this great big green bar international straight across. So I really don't like that. I think that's probably wasted half of the roll of washi. And um, so, yeah, I only picked up one of each. And I didn't even know that before I picked these up. Had I known this, I may not have even picked up the one of each. So then I got those two. I got some Christmas balls. But like I said, those are at my, hus at my husband's family's house. And then I did find one of these... Um, LED tea light candles and the only reason I got this is because it the tea light actually changes colors um, so I was really happy to find this I have seen Tammy from my world okay see how haul this and I think it's really cool like I already have a lot of these diamonds I guess like a bunch but I've seen these so I picked them up because of the tea light mostly um yeah my grandmother is a crafter like or she was. She's 96 years old now, so she's not too much into crafting now. But I'll tell you one thing. Even now to this day, she still does puzzles and she still colors and she still does crossword puzzles. And those are her favorite things to do. If she could, she'd still be knitting and sewing and all that stuff too because she just loves it. And she tells me every day, oh, I'm going to finish that blanket for you, honey. But she never does because she can't see to do it, you know. But not that she can't see because she can see, but it's her nerves are kind of bad now because she's a hundred years old you know but yeah so I have a um inherited a lot of stuff from her and that I think is where my love and my passion for crafting came from 
So anyways, the next stuff I got from Dollar Tree tonight is just another one of these. They had these in stock. I only picked up one. They had a few, but I only picked up one because I think two is plenty for me. Not sure how long they're going to last. But, um... I think they're worth it. Also, one more thing, just so you know, whenever you, whenever you have these, something people may not know is that you need to open this up and there is a piece of paper here. You need, it needs to come out before the light will work. Um, because I guess uh, the battery touching the metal makes the battery run down faster even if it's not being used. So they do that for us, which I think is cool of the Dollar Tree. Next two things I got tonight were some ribbon, and I really like this. Um, Tammy also sent me this kind of ribbon, and I really loved it. I already used it, the piece that she sent me, so I picked up some more for myself when I seen it tonight. And also I got the lace ribbon. Next thing I got was... Some more of these stickers here. They had restocked these, and I really love these snowmen and these reindeer. So I got another pack of this, even though Christmas is pretty much, you know, it's not something I need to finish any product project. I just wanted it, so I got it. And I really want to try and find those blue and white um, snowflakes again if I can find some. I would really love that, but I don't know that I will. Like they're out. Those things went really pretty fast. So the next thing I got were some more of these. They had, I think like maybe four boxes left. I got two, this was the only kind they got that they had left. I picked up one of these last time and two of the pink ones. I think I already put one in friend mail of the pink ones and it went out. Um, actually one of these were supposed to go out too from the other one but I think I, I don't know, if I must have forgot. Because it has, the reason I like this one the most is, um, if you look on this roll right here, there's a little llama. He's super cute. And then this roll here is some really cute cats. So I got two more of these, a thousand stickers for a dollar. Okay. Next thing I got was some of these crackers. Because I love these crackers and I have been, and I love that they're individually wrapped into um, serving sizes so I got this because I'm really trying to um, change my my life my eating styles and stuff right now just because like I said I'm fixing to go into surgery I think I've already told y'all um, my newest surgery date so far is gonna be January 10th so I really want to try to change my lifestyle and get ready for that to kind of jump start and then the next thing, and I say all that, and then I'm going to show you, I got one of these, um, the Boston Cream Honey Buns. I love Boston Cream Donuts, and I'm fixing to eat this as soon as I get off of here. Um, but I only got one. They had a lot of them. I actually went down that aisle to see if they had bread because that's where I get my bread from. Y'all know my, um, the honey oat, whatever, with all the different seeds and stuff in it. Love that bread. And they were already out. Like, there was people with, like, six, seven loaves of bread in their carts so i only got this from the bread aisle that's it that's all i got from dollar tree you guys so the next place i went is target as y'all all know my two stores are completely next to each other and i didn't pick up many things from there matter of fact i don't even know that i have too many things to show you from there i just like to buy a lot of my dairy products there um as far as grocery stuff because it's a lot cheaper than Whole Foods and stuff and it's you can still buy organic stuff you know so I get my unsalted butter from there um, and also you got a little target for the dollar spot I get my PB2 from there and I get my half and half from there oh and I also got Some donut, Dunkin' Donuts that are open. Some um, Dunkin' Donuts Keurigs. I guess I open these somehow. Oh well. And I got some cooking spray. And 
I got some frozen fish that I will put all this on a pan and cook up at one time and eat for the week. So that is it. Oh. And then next place I went, you guys, was to Sprouts. And y'all heard me talk about Sprouts a lot here. Um, and I just, I love it, love it, love it, love it. So from Sprouts, I get their whole wheat tortillas. This is the eight count. They ha um, these I will just use like for wraps or in the morning, like if I'm making some eggs, like omelets and stuff, and I want to give a couple of these to my husband. He can eat these. If I don't have any fresh on hand, I'll give him these. Okay. Oh, <laughs> last thing I got from Target was a great big bag of kale, and it's still organic, but it is um. A lot cheaper at Target than it is anywhere else. This big bag was like $3.49, I think. So, yeah, I got that. And I go, I wonder <laughs> about this nail. I'm not supposed to be off. It hurts. My nails are so thin, I cannot, I can't take it off. I cannot. So, it's just stuck. I have like three nails stuck on here. And um, I don't care because when they come off, they come off. But I'm not ripping them off because it hurts. Anywho. Tortillas for wraps, breakfast, whatever, you know, stuff I need it. Um, I got baby carrots for my snack. If I want it. Cucumbers, tomatoes, onion, ginger, more tomato. We got two big bags of spinach. I got two giant pineapples. They were on sale. Two for three dollars. So I will cut these up tonight. And um that will be my snack all week long. Also, I got this giant bag of mangoes. Frozen edamame beans. I love to get these fresh from Whole Foods, but I see these at Sprouts. I got bananas. I only got five because I actually still had two two from last week. My husband will drink these occasionally, like this with some almond milk for a shake. But one of these is two smoothies for me. I got some black bean chips. I got some chicken legs. And I got four giant chicken breasts for $5.73. Okay, and these are um, all natural farm fresh chicken, minimally processed, no artificial ingredients, no added enhancers or solutions, no added growth hormones. This is why I love sprouts and I don't mind shopping there. Only difference is um, Whole Foods, I can get them to specialize my meat cuts and stuff like that. And it doesn't cost extra. If you go to, this is going to go on a bacon sheet lined with some foil. I'll season it bake it turn on the broiler like bake it until it's done and then i'll turn it up a little bit to give it like a little bit of crispy slice it up throw it in salads throw it in my wraps whatever i want same thing with my fish uh and then i did get a couple of new things from the store to try i got some honey sticks this isn't really like a great special buy or anything those are like 35 cents a piece i got some Daily energy and daily turmeric. I also got some cliff bars that they have right now, like seasonal items, and these are spiced pumpkin pie and iced gingerbread to try for the week. And that's it, you guys. That is my weekend haul. So this week I went to Dollar Tree, I went to Target, I went to Sprouts, and that's about it. Um you guys let me know what y'all want to see next week. Like, do y'all want to see Trader Joe's? Do y'all want to see Whole Foods? What do you want to see? Just let me know. Um, and I'll see what I can do. That's it, you guys. Bye.